dodged two molestation attempts. Really? Yeah, two. Now, I couldn't imagine letting my seven-year-old just public fucking library. wander around. <laughs> yeah. Not just that, but walk to the public library, yeah. you know, in San Francisco. And uh, this guy, um, I was looking at, I, you know, I was always into, like, um, horror movies and monster movies and shit. Yeah. And so I was reading these books in this, they had a section of, like, you know, monster books. Yeah. And this guy came up to me, and he goes, uh, do you, you like monster books? I go, yeah. And he goes, oh, I have some monster books in my car. You want to see them? I'm no. Like, okay. Like, I didn't know any better. I was yeah. fucking eight years old or whatever it was. And as I'm leaving with this guy, the um, librarian starts screaming, Joseph, you get away from that man. You know, like, you, yeah. that, guy, that man just got out of jail. And she she yells at him to get out of there. And the guy runs away. And I just started crying. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. So I dodged that bullet. And then another time, when I was 13, when I was 13, we were hanging around this lake in uh, Jamaica Plain. Uh, it was um, this, like, uh, Jamaica Pond was this place we would go and fish. And uh, there was another pond that was, like, this neighboring pond that was, like, slightly smaller. And this guy was always, like, running around the lake. He was <laughs> yeah. jogging. And me and my friend Josh would be hanging out. This guy would come over and talk to us. You know, he seemed like a super normal guy. He used to be a teacher, and he had retired. And, you know, look, he probably was, like, in his 60s. And then one day, it's just me. He went for it. One day, it's just me. And uh, I'm, I'm fishing, and he comes by, and he's drunk. Damn. And, uh... He tells me he loves me, and I'm like, I'm like super confused. How old were you? Thirteen. Okay. And I had been talking to this guy on and off. I had seen him, you know, for months. Yeah. Like he'd come by, say yeah, hi. Yeah. It was always like casual, very good humored, very friendly. But he was like setting us up, and uh, he comes by, and then I realize after he tells me he loves me, but there can be no love without sex. That's what he says. And I'm like, what? 
<laughs> and I had a knife. <clears throat> so up. I remember like I grabbed, fucked up. I grabbed my knife in my pocket and I had my hand on my knife and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to stab this guy. Damn. Yeah. I was like, this is going to, because there was no one around. There was no one around. Wow. It was just trees and You were 13? Forest. You were like, I'm going to have to stab. Oh, I was gonna cut this guy. I would. I'm a. I would have trusted the guy. I'd have been like, "Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're smarter than <laughs> well, me." Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> I don't know what. You... It was dangerous. We had a guy go for us. Yeah. There was a guy that used to linger. Hilarious dude. He was. He was mentally challenged, but he would always hang out around my high school, and he would go to all the like basketball games. One day, the we had like a tape recorder for the national anthem. To play at the beginning of games, they would just hold a mic next to a tape recorder. <laughs> it broke. So the, the mentally handicapped guy stood up and started singing. <laughs> and the whole fucking gym was like, <laughs> I started listening. Everybody just listened to the guy sing the national Oh, my God. Did he get but all the words right? I, I don't remember. I doubt it. I doubt it, dude. I think he was freestyling a little. And the rockets yeah. he, uh, But no, he would try to get you. He would go to games. But he was oh. like a... Again, it was it wasn't that long ago. It was long enough that like people were like, "Yeah, he's weird." That old mm. thing. We're like, if, "Yeah, there's a town pedophile, but he's a weird guy." Yeah. So he would like be like, "You guys want to play football?" And we were little kids at the high school football game playing like touch football, and he was like, "You guys want to come out to my car? I have Nerf balls." And we were all like, "No, dude, stop <laughs> trying to fuck us!" <laughs> like we knew what he was doing. <laughs> he just he was like, "All right, see you guys." Did he get away with it with anybody? Probably. If you get the mentally handicapped guy tricks you mm. into getting into his car. Nerf balls. I got Nerf balls out That's of my how car. he gets you? And we were just fully like. Nobody dude. would ever like take your advice again. No. It's like, bro, 